The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Aragon LQ Pre-Harvest Weed Control, and Fortenza Vibrance Max Plus Saltro. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. Today I'm down in Pancor, Ontario at the Pride Education Center, joined by Matt Chappell, Pride Agronomist. Matt, how's it going? It's going well, Bern. Awesome. How are things with you? It's pretty good, it's pretty good. And an awesome site here today. Um, the, the Education Center has come together really well. You guys have been working on this for a couple of years now, right? Yeah, this is year two right here. This is what we call my sandbox or, or my playground where we get to do a lot of cool agronomic studies and demonstrations. Look at different genetics and uh, some practices we can do to uh, improve yields. Awesome. Hey, I want to talk about this um, trial you've got going right here. You're looking at planting date on soybeans. Tell us about uh, the setup. What do you, you know, what you've got here? What are you trying to learn? Yeah, Bern. A little bit of background on this site. It is a clay no-till site, and we really wanted to look at maximizing our yield potential by variety maturity mm -hmm. and by planting date. So we selected an ultra early planting date that was April 7th this growing season, an average, a May 19th grow, uh, planting date, and then a June 9th planting date to really see how we can change our yield potential, what that will do to different maturity varieties and how that can change our, you know, our pod set, uh, maybe misses, weather stresses throughout the growing season on those maturity products. So I think we've got some great demonstrations and uh, well, let's take a look because you've gone into each plot now, picked out some plants. We're going to look at obviously seed set, pods, nodes. Let's take a look at what you found. Well, Bern, we've, we've grabbed some samples now. We're having a look at our different planting dates and we're starting with our long day maturity bean first, that 2.8 maturity bean. And we're going to start with looking at that April 7th planting date. And when I look at what we've done since April 7th, now mind you, this bean was in the ground for five inches of snow on April 21st. And then once it poked its little head through the surface, we had, uh, we might have had some frost scares in the month of May that really set these plants back maybe and uh, hurt some early growth. But as a whole, we've uh, really done well to maintain that seeded rate of 140,000 seeds per acre. So what we're observing on this 2.8, We've got a lot of nice branching, and in fact, we have pods set right down to the bottom of that stem, right at that first node, so pretty impressive. And on average, this bean has 68 pods per plant, so tight inner nodes. It looks like we've kind of mitigated a lot of stress through the season, and down low, I think we can see a nice pod set of often three seeds per pod, which, hey, if we had early season stress from frost and things like that, and even cooler temps and dry weather into June, maybe we would have seen higher nodes uh, before we get one or two bean pods, but this is nice to see at that early planting date. So 68 pods per plant. May 19th, what a difference in overall plant height. We made some straw is what I'll say. We branched out pretty good, but this bean really tried to plop up and reach for the stars before it began pod set. We got good branching down low, but you'll look that we're more like three nodes, four nodes up before we really start to see good pod set. And you could say that, well, you know, as we move into that fourth, fifth set of flowers, yeah, we have three, four pod clusters. And uh, that's pretty good for yield potential. And you say, well, beans are liars and they look darn good from the road. I'm really happy I waited till May. They all come up in a good time. Well, we'll see because on average, this taller, more showier plant is 55 pods per plant on average. Then we look at our late planting date. Does it pay to hold that maturity to plant well into the month of June, into June 9th, which I would say in the 2021 growing season, that was a bit late. We were into mostly dry conditions in much of Southern Ontario and we would totally expect that these beans would be forced into flowering probably before they have much height to them. And that is totally characteristic and I believe that is exactly what we are seeing here as we get into the third, fourth node. We have pod set but we have a higher percentage of these aborted kernels and we have a lot slower pod development, more flat, flat pods and more one to two bean pods at these lower nodes. And then you can see the change where May 19th, 
the middle of the canopy has great three bean pod fill it's more higher in the in the canopy for these june planted beans so these guys here maybe they don't have the final seed size at harvest nor the yield potential but i think you know these april 7th have the potential to be big seeded beans with very good yield potential and these may 19th they're going to be a close runner for uh, consistency more of that carbon copy look all right now let's have a look at the 2.0 maturity bean uh, a lot of same similarities that we're seeing when you look at planting early april 7th you get higher pod counts you get low pod set but on the 2.0 maybe you could say maybe we're giving up on some of that late opportunities on more flowers later in the growing season may 19th again a taller plant we've spaced out the nodes we see more stress uh, lower in the canopy but some good pod fill in the mid canopy much what we saw with the 2.0 maturity bean then we look at the june 9th planting date and what you see there again is you see higher pod set you see pod set that starts more at that third and fourth node you have uh, less beans per pod at those lower nodes and in fact with this 2.0 maturity bean I'm concerned that maybe the the timing of some weather events may have shut this one down a little early to optimize the September weather event so some final take homes here today when we look at that 2.8 versus that 2.0 maturity bean think about optimizing and really pushing your maturity group soybeans for maximum pod count maximum seeds per plant when planting early and when planting into that mid planting dates when we get into that june time frame later in the growing season it really warrants us dropping in maturity i think that uh earlier being in that in that june time frame really is the best seed set the best pod development for that point in the growing season <laughs>